I'm going to be reading this little book, Rocks. There's a note in the back. It was, Rocks was written on a backpacking trip in the Sierra Nevada between South Lake and Whitney Portal, 120 miles over six 12,000 foot passes, August 10th to 18th, 1993. I wrote in three line stanzas, five syllables in the first line, three in the second, five in the third, as a kind of walking meditation. These were the little notebooks. Between lines, spaces meaning what sound a thought makes once it's gone. One doesn't know where it went or why, like a shooting star, say, as if in meaning that part of a planet that's broken off so long ago, meaning it gets dark. Perseid meteor erupts in a little bit as if it's finished on this line, how the stars come out after sunsets, meaning the west, that is. Sky against this place as counter-rotation, lights in the valley where the car stops, one who isn't someone else being occupied, say, the other who walks down the road, waits by the car, stopping beside it. How the person looks up as if which way the dipper, the simplest of words meaning that point, thinking of it as if to say now the sky is like a curtain ripped in half, the longest meteor being itself one, then another. How the person in the second car is missing. How, as if it's getting colder now, the line about being cold echoes. The sound of water, one's ear. Hearing it answer gravity, which the meteor also felt, apparently drawn toward extinction. Perseid, the name a person one doesn't know gave to it how it makes the night go more quickly, as if time isn't meaning to do that much in itself. Not the same, say, as what others mean, looking at the watch whose hand falls off, which one fixes once the car stops. So it isn't always in motion until the next one happens, not before or after this sound is this sound itself. One person making it as if it happens now, the car in the road sounding as if it won't stop or turn in, meeting. <clears throat> the person halfway, making one wait beside that part of the car separated, one thinks to stop, meaning that walking, deserted, no one behind or ahead of someone, the others who think one is in front of them, as if after dark, sunset having been to the west of one, that is called Milky Way, the way stars begin to shine round the flame, candle so one can see where the line goes after all. One day meaning so many things to see, one may be ahead or behind on the trail, not that someone at this point stops, knowing how the meteor was itself, as if to enter the atmosphere is becoming black, so many stars one begins to move imp imperceptibly, as if to spin counterclockwise where the world's motion instead, that which is in fact so random, so that what is falling, one out of the northwest, isn't seemingly just as one turns to look in that direction, happens to glance as if meaning happens, writing it down how satellite goes at its own pace, moving north to south, more or less, which man in the moon listening to the stream one can't see, how the sound of it doesn't matter, what one repeats being in the present tense, what happens next in the line about what happens on stage, which is what one can see watching an actor perform, action elsewhere, so to speak, spoken of by those characters who were witnesses to that. Everything that isn't that happening, so the play itself is being performed now. 
instead of speaking to one who isn't about to respond, that no sound follows this one. For instance, meteors on a given night predicted to be visible in great numbers, which actually happened a couple of lines ago. Say, dear meadow, under lodgepole pines that places a body answers meaning it isn't used to certainly pressure in the canyon that suddenly everything is green as elevation changes what will be growing where two voices called out the other looking for the one who was missing so that is what being in a place could involve that tree having been here 300 years one imagines the big as any one could imagine in words, a simple solution to what is assumed. Another meaning after all, the candle lights up how cold water is diving into it, or how sun only to lie out after. On granite rocks, the sun at, one's, at one o'clock heats granite, makes a place to be warmed as skin, as if air wills itself to evaporate surfaces, seven steps away from them, so to speak, of someone else, place the granite water rushes by, voices by the fire, whose relation beginning to turn direction, one who has driven her car to be here with the other, his voice lower in the darkness now, fallen, candlelight on lodgepole trunk which above which stars come out as before one doesn't mean to repeat that is to mean again the present following what is here as if the stage were itself occupied by those whose performance makes no sense thought the moment one stops somewhere between a and b that distance then being measured on the map by contour lines. As direction is always going forward, one who is walking, say, up or down, both ways depending on the position of the observer, scars in, stars in sky even more pronounced in the line of thought, for instance, how water begins to sound in itself, listening to it as if it hadn't been that sound, peeling off its bark, air open to begin to say the silence one sees as if on all sides as light ripples on glacial like so that in the the rise that pushes out or up being what one meant say to the other person who is walking ahead wanting to stop finds somewhere else on the way to what will be home somewhere above one or another stream falling from a place down which one stumbled, every step walking on nails, so it is like pain one is thinking, thinking of someone who is gone. Being in a word, shifting to granite table, stars one means to expose across the blue that is now blank, the sound water made when it wasn't seen then, candle light to be feeling saying so. After another word or two, this line reading itself, what it thinks is continuously present, fascicles on pine branch being a signal behind the tree it places, one who will be asleep if it takes that, tea in bed, say before the morning gets too far, how smooth rocks polished in weather can feel when one picks it up, meaning to do that, that weight inconsequential compared to what follows, places being remembered as things as if things were the same as this one or that one walking in the mountains, where one feels free, who sees how the sky itself opens above a moth that lights on granite rock by candlelight, who else could imagine syllables in a word numbers happening one sound at a time, how one gets to see the other walking in such a place without distractions other than what is there, thinking to take the next step 
whether in reading this or not, depending so much the sky is itself hollow, points of light that is now one looks up, hearing as it fills the air, the water rock causes to fall into white spaces, how it felt in the mouth walking southwest, bend of path called switchback, crossing a snowfield, footsteps, one black spider walking there, continuous as moments someone else could think as what's happening on stage, how each step registers dry nails underfoot again, gone as the mind changes gears, gathers flowers to be pressed, meaning to take one who will remember Columbine, Indian paintbrush, the bark of the pine, its own skin, one remarks, peeling it, how the moment passes each direction it takes beside the water, how Shelley, for example, read what it means to think walking, that what wind blows in the pass at noon, sun on rocks enough that one can remember what it was in words, say, the next sentence beyond that, feeling what it meant once, how one took the time to care for someone else, what measures thought in a line before the candle, the cold that descends, so to speak of it, once the sky is black, continuous breathing on the way to thinking of one step after another, as if there is water, ground to stop on, meaning somewhere else how to move, water sounding that motion, as it falls over rocks, more rocks, so to speak, the candle sits on, meaning to pick up this or that one, where stars begin to fall, that living on the way to leaving somewhere, somewhere on a line between here and elsewhere, the point of saying such things as words may sometimes attempt, looking up at that exact place or moment, reading to the reader what makes itself stop, continuous sound as the echo a voice makes between peaks, farther than the ear can hear, that is, what happened as the sound of thought itself, say one is gone ahead of the next person, who happens to be that one herself as upper limit music, say the shape of a rock one thinks to sit on after all, how soon the feeling thought insists is not being known, as it were, words like that, for example, how the wind was against one's skin that morning, or how the moment leaning back on rock understands itself as meaning to be written, how to be that act, seen the second one ac comprehends it as moving water, trout rises through, underbelly brilliant red in spots along its lower side, limit speaking of that rock, from which to look down into its words as objects, say the mind of the person of whom it is said nature inhabits someone's body, what becomes the absence that is heard here, as one thinks the feeling of sound against it, how the ear responds turning the page, one hears voices near the water's edge, learns something about what others thought, speaking of words, that image, present as the air moving across ears, entrance, another sensation, now being present, evaporates as it leaves one across the skin, sees the number of tones of blues, not monochromatic, but shades of turquoise, jade, the far bend of lake below the precipice of rocks, lichen-faced, as if the wind carried itself clear across the surface's plain, opacity light constructs as it is, itself reflected toward the observer, one who moving into that silence, air as it passes makes, that is as one remembers place, continuous as events unfolding moment by moment, 
what was in enacted as the words a line transcribes, syllables the reader one thought in writing to engage, as if attention could be all that counts, a shape on the pass moving, so it is the person against the sky, one ascending against the very air one breathes, breathing the breath of fire, a mouth itself closes the little O it makes, one sound, dome of noon as far as the eye sees, beyond pyramids of peaks, given as a gift of words, light blue where the snow melts so far below one another's steps, as if being the act of changing shapes, how clouds begin to be belt against the empty that is blue air, as breath of fire that brings one to this place, can't stop what the words saying means to say, bending the sound out as if into space, foxtail pine, weather beaten sails, the air's atmosphere, meaning the angle it shapes, now against what is seen above it, voices that echo another person's voice, how it is said beginning with a line from that place in the shade, old trunk between someone and the sun that goes behind cloud down canyon, say, how the brook trout wraps itself around submerged rock, breaking the line, words for it being sound as if by meaning that, many other senses, how it is that direction again that light falls, thinking someone else will be walking here, thinking other kinds of notes, that music is being the difference once between what it was and something continuous, once as in this example the word rock means to convey thinking it, how suddenly that line is happening to tug, what pulls it pulls at it underwater surfaces shaped by rock in places, what it feels to be immersed in it, how after the skin dries it seems to be one another's own, how listening sound in the background one begins to notice, not notes exactly, but still it is that which continues, how the other person is missing this place as the line itself extended overhead, invisible stars behind or rather above clouds from the west, one's voice at last beginning to be sound itself, listening to reading nature writing. Log one leans back against the cold, azimuth at that is air in letters. Others may sound, the reader reading late who hears that repeat as echoes, pine cone falling as if it hit the ground, one wanted to write exactly now. What music was said to be, limit above which one imagines that sensation, hearing the word it means to be pronounced slowly, which one's tongue pulls backward into one's mouth, the sound of breathing, nostrils as passage, air moves, beginning to be inhaled, how focused one finds it possible, surrounded by air as breathing stops, continuous sound a river makes, making its way to the sea, how then what breathing is about, how air travels through it, filling the person, say, <clears throat> making a kind of pressure the body calls its pain. Not that it isn't something to be delicate, for instance, the person in bed rolling over, how the other hip repositions itself, the white pine fascicle whose five needles say white pine, ghost of tree orange-brown shapes against that shape of sky, which doesn't precisely replicate its fact that is of being numerous, the word another set of terms, suppose in this line of thinking so-called rocks, that up ahead the pass waits as it always has for no one, the form of it or another pair of letters being this line's object, so to speak, 
meaning nothing but itself that is how around the corner forester pass rears into view 13,000 plus feet against the blue of almost 11 o'clock to put it simply literal information as valuable say in poems such as this image for example not to repeat merely what is seen but the words themselves as image as much the object as the object is in fact as writing means itself to stage the event of events in words performance as it were a kind of play each actor playing his or her or rather its role so every syllable counts that its sound could register the music thinking makes the idea unfolded as notes in a scale whose pitch depends on altitude so to speak the words each character is about to articulate parts the random spark that produces itself in the mind when least expected walking up the trail as Wordsworth is said to have thought his poems aloud walking on and on one morning another act of words closes a couple of sounds at once one stream softly rippling in the air farther off in rocks a different key registers its notes as water makes its way toward the person's ear what sound it hears as vibrations per second per second as echo on a distant peak face projected back of voices sent out at the top of one's range of light as muir said appropriately enough it would seem given such places how distance isn't realized until one walks into it steps meaning to do that say something about altitude and the exertion it takes to bring one there complete presence as the air one breathing into the body exchanges itself for blood that oxygen could be the substance of what writing is walking without books of others words ones like that or the one one in this line counting out its sound syllables five plus three plus five making a kind of music forms mathematical meaning that the rock one can stop to write words down on significant as the very thing itself thisness meaning here and now in time space the distance between one ridge and the next horizon how the sky bends down as if to the ridge of matter itself the other like geometry sounds a bird makes or liquid falls say how the person who sees each discontinuous event translated into words says it the shape of syllables that is to say how another motion means the words moving forward out into the space it occupies reading in itself a form of writing meaning comprehends for instance counting the number of syllables it takes to say i think a feeling in other words a perception cold as water is it is entered head first as one body of water used to be larger having filled in from where granite peaks lift erosion following upheaval as if its sound followed which doesn't mean equivocation signifies something exactly meaning the sun was against the ridge top to the west which the pine faces not naming itself but being named as my friend tree writes which direction on the map the person moving forward or reading it as closely as a text can be itself read writing the shape of such po a foxtail pine identified five needles in the fascicle one learns how to read how its pollen comes off in one's hand as texture up close the field of wood grain in a palm another touches not that it seems the whole stand of trees is an animate bending up into the slope of plain geometry registered on a hill how it faces to the west kawea's peak whose pine needle ridgeline intersects a sky 
how variegated distances reflect position of light relative to the observer map itself as a direction one one has come will go forward at this particular point continuous presence that is definition as the unfolding of moments might be known as that bird's wing parts the air overhead whistling divides it from itself this same motion necessarily a series of moves now how the figure of outward becoming itself is itself this one high wind clouds meaning moisture is born aloft scat on a weathered gray log that is home to someone one doesn't see when it is signified by that how the sound of the stream as one gets closer can be heard as music preludes to fugues so to speak a kind of harmony twelve tones approximately compared with it though clearly not that close two sleeping trunks twisted together as if perpetually campion after catullus saying we sleep one ever during night syllables break si signifying descent of notes music pictures the event it talks about for example how pitch duration and beat or accent measures time rhythms form cut into it as pound said once upon a time equal so to speak to the thing itself objective correlative not eliot's exact sense thank you flat rock for being here that one might sit and write this line as if to rest at that time at that same time as other words beside water as getting up one's body again so long wildflowers violet instrument under granite boulder how someone might call it that whether rightly or wrongly one does not particularly care lightning scarred tree trunk that shows its liquid amber more motion that is still living not that it is moving in space though that too may be true relative to space itself wind currents and the bend of time heisenberg posited as that positions itself in a line relative to this fallen log its skin like weathered water if only in motion as a liquid is when it falls or air moves across it hits the surface displacing it in proportion to the mass and weight of the body whose energy extended beyond its limits runs downhill weathered gray brown wood against mineral soil no organic matter for the fire to burn thank you rock again for letting me sit on you my friend walking from place to place meditation as much as any word rhythmic breathing through the nose opening the way in or out as it were that each principal structure pertinent in either case eyes following the ear say hearing parts of the same whole body weathered log says or seems to for example sitting down on it a while how suddenly the words declaring themselves as if out of air nowhere as if deep inside the body that person being intangible how one tree thinks to stand by itself before moving on to other physical forms log whose body is worn cambrium hollow into shapes other words enter calling it a place to stop rock by the trail one means to pick up still warm in the hand that holds it it's white catching the sun's light along a crack that will in time split open as geology shows us reading the earth as much text <coughs> itself as language itself is ideally one's foot on this stump the same as one's foot on this stump making that happen the way one doesn't to the other for instance how the body spells itself green meadow overlooking red-faced kawea spur the couple who occupies a rock by the stream light causes to look silver 
as if such a word can name it. Various shades of color being the spectrum light travels in or say through space on its way home, that is. Wherever that might be said to happen to be elsewhere, the mountain rears into view beyond the bend of what can be seen. Cezanne's kind of perspectives one imagines in the distances. Massive black sweeping toward the eastern horizon. How beautiful then simply to describe descriptions, <clears throat> descriptions fact, as if that were all that counts. Counting the number of beats in a line, syllables being notes, the way light first hits the peaks facing east, distant mountain ridge which last night stayed lit under its endless sunlit glow, orange vermilion if that makes sense, how attention focuses itself when the mind is free, the body delicate like air without moisture, rivulets flowing on the trail or patch of ice as altitude increases, slivers silver underfoot, yellow and red petals below where, one's, where one steps, a phrase in the lake in the chill of late afternoon light, how one can wake to the sound of that light's continuous movement east to west, Korea, as it were, the first to pick it up, illuminates at that point as if from within itself, two figures below one's labored breathing, airs a kind of music as it passes in and out of one's mouth, instrument call it, a body source of where words come from, themselves come from, if one will listen to it, that is meaning its own pulse. Being itself, why walking generates the words you are listening to, say, here, days or years from now, one thinks, insisting on the range of light one walks up at this moment, that harmony between what is mine and yours. Syllables meaning thus to connect the word world to words, playfully as words will do whether you like it or not. Thank you again, rock, upon which one looks west to Kawea Ridge. Figures in the clouds above representations of nothing except themselves, one thinks, meaning by that simply that what is in the air is in the air. Sound itself, the medium one means to transcribe, if shape can also be understood as a portion of the formula, what is included in what is not like an absence that is always here now, any given moment like any other, that is, the present one thinks and will mean in different tenses, horizon the eye sees, so to speak, <clears throat> Korea, spaces division by the names we call the parts of a world, as Stevens writes, or wrote, as it were, since he isn't here anymore except in words, that body taking such particular form in a kind of reincarnation, one that divides the person into his or her atomic parts, each syllable the sound of the cell being itself blue-green turquoise of lakes to the west, no sound but a few birds in the distance inside one's head, which is to say the air is out there elsewhere. How distant figures look, say, to that person standing still, description of form that isn't able to be what it describes, as Stein noted in Portraits and Repetition, each moment itself other than the one before or after it. If it be not now, yet it will come, Hamlet says, being a figure of speech, man made of words only partially present, so to speak, when he speaks. Actor, the play is performed by, the one who articulates the person we call Hamlet, not quite Shakespeare, but not, not Shakespeare either. In that, that person's image is recognizable in the words he wrote, to the west distance, absolute attention to every step, 
that exposure so great, granite slabs piled up like language in a poem composed of granite words called rocks, each one placed in position as a step follows step, small birds flitting by in air that's so rare one has to breathe it in deeply, in sun beginning to warm the faces of boulders, one's back and shoulders beginning to sense it too, as a heat that seems to penetrate meaning, as if inside skin under its cover, so to speak, of that which contains the body it's part of. Distance in all directions still ahead, the summit almost at which point the map would say, if it could speak, that is to say, that it can being one kind of text itself meant to be read. One understands, having examined it closely, this drink of water for the thirst that is the body's breathing its fluids out. How dry the air at this altitude, a clump of purple flower or something to the left, white paper where someone left it, and a patch of ice, water that trickled before it froze, how the landscape at this point not much more than rocks strewn about by force of wind and weather, how it blows suddenly over from the east or southeast, compass points, circumference in nearly every direction the sky can see, say how far it is to get here to here, 1040 a.m., a day in August 1993, where one stood years ago, not that it matters to say so, the same rock weathered a bit more, somehow the same person, one who listens to the sound of that after words, the sound of thought as it goes in the mind of the one who thinks it, numbers the other might hear, who reads this, that form of presence, archaic as light.